Pinewood Derby video is brought to you by Derby Works Incorporated. Welcome to Pinewood Derby Final Assembly. It's important to know whether your area's rules require that all four wheels must touch the track or whether just three wheels touching is allowed. The three wheel touching method is the fastest and best for setting up a rail rider alignment, which I'll be demonstrating in this video. The rail rider alignment is a technique where the front wheel touching the track on a three wheel touching car is used to gently steer the wheel into the center guide rail and lightly hold the car in the straightest and smoothest path to the finish line. Meanwhile, the rear wheel behind it stays off the rail to prevent friction. By straightening the car's path and preventing the car from bouncing against the guide rail and losing momentum, the rail rider alignment has proven to be the fastest and most efficient way to tune a Pinewood Derby car. Now to begin your rail rider assembly, lay out a sheet of printer paper. Mark each corner with left front, right front, left rear, right rear, like so. This way the correct finished wheel and axle is installed in the corresponding spot. Next I'll use the Pro Axle Press and the Pro Rail Rider tool to make sure the axles are bent the correct amount for each wheel. Then place them on the marked sheet of paper. Rear axles should be bent at 2.5 degrees and front axles should be bent at 1.5 degrees as a great starting point for all tracks. Making your choice of lubrication will again depend on the rules. The two most common lubes are dry graphite powder or Crytox 100 oil-based lube. Dry graphite has been the standard for Pinewood Derby racing for more than 50 years, and when applied correctly, will produce a fast car. However, it's messy on both the car finish and the track. The new Crytox 100 is much cleaner to use on both car and track. It is faster and will exceed the racing life of dry graphite by over three times. It also won't require reapplication during Derby Day events. So let me show you how the Crytox is applied. First, carefully install a prepped axle halfway into a prepped wheel. Now, using the needle dropper, apply two small drops of Crytox to the axle. Then, insert the axle fully and slowly spin the wheel to spread the Crytox. Next, slide the axle halfway out and using an edge of clean paper towel, wipe the axle to remove the excess. Finally, set the wheel in its marked spot and repeat the process with your remaining wheels. And here's another speed secret. The thin film provides a lubrication that will last many races. Over oiling prevents a quick start. Remember, less is more. Now I'll move on to installing the wheels and axles. I'll be using the Pro Axle Guide to correctly install and gap the wheels in the slots or axle holes in the finished body. Use care when installing the axles. Ensure the dots are straight up or at 12 o'clock. If the axles need to be removed, it is best to use the Pro Axle pliers to prevent damage to the wheels. You want to avoid pulling on a prepped wheel to remove the axles. Like any race car, the performance of your derby car can only be optimized by adjusting it. Make sure you leave time for this and never rush it. A fast car is more than the sum of its parts. Proper tuning will unlock its full potential. Let me take you through the steps. For starters, you'll need a clean, flat, and level surface that's four to six feet long. Next, I'll be using thin masking tape that gives you something to judge straight and true against. On one end of the table, add a 12 inch piece of tape creating a T or 90 degree angle from the center line. Then mark it with one inch increments both left and right. This is to measure the steer of the car. alignment correct and the wheels all working together in the same direction, the car will roll much freer and faster. And this is the key to making your car really come alive. Here at Derby Works, let us help you build a winner. 
Take your Pinewood Derby car to the next level. Be sure to check out our videos on our YouTube channel and at derbyworks.com.